So Roe v. Wave has been overturned. What that means is that states are allowed to make abortions illegal. So my personal opinion is I'm pro-choice, you know, like I wouldn't do it if I had the choice. But like, you know, if a mother doesn't want the child for any reason, then yeah, just let her have the abortion. Now, of course, there has to be a time limit, you know, like I think after like 28 weeks, then yeah, you know, if after that it's like, uh, no, nah, you, you fucked up. So yeah, I don't think the government should be allowed to choose if the woman wants to have the baby or not. This is, you know, the government just trying to get closer and closer to controlling people's lives. So for the people who are saying, you know, oh, you know, this is a good thing. It's like, all right, I understand, you know, oh, we're killing a baby. Okay, yeah. But there has to be like a neutral option. Like that Roe versus Wade was the neutral option. Like think about it. The extreme option would be, oh, you can have an abortion when the baby is born. <laughs> Having abortions legal means that, you know, there will be safe abortions. You know, there's probably going to be a lot of women who are scared to have a baby and they might, you know, just kill themselves. Now, people are arguing about, you know, oh, man, you know, like women with 30 abortions, you know, like that shouldn't happen. So <laughs> it's funny because it's like, all right, obviously she doesn't want to have a child. So what? You're going to force her to have that child? Think about it. If she's having that many abortions, she doesn't want a kid. Now, yes, that is a disturbing amount, but, you know, obviously, she doesn't want that kid. Now, think about it. What if she's forced to have that kid? That kid's gonna have a shitty life. Mother's neglectful, not around, not feeding the kid, doesn't even know where the father is. The kid's gonna have a horrible life, all right? Now, <laughs> there's probably some people gonna be like, oh, but what if he becomes a football player, a doctor, Jesus Christ? Shit, the, the kid might end up being Hitler. We don't no, all right? That's not our decision. That shouldn't be the government's decision, all right? Now, with this happening, now what's next? Because, you know, this is like some people are like, "Oh, that's not this is not really a big deal." Yeah, it is. Like that this is something that was legal. And now it's becoming legal. So what's next, you know? Someone already said that gay marriage is up next. What what's next after that, you know? Racial marriage? Slavery? Like, what's next? Like, even for you Republicans that are living in Democratic states, what's gonna happen to you guys? You know, oh, they're gonna take away your guns? <laughs> no, I'm just joking. You know, guns got more rights more rights than women. And it's crazy because, you know, they, they care about the baby before it's born. But after it's born, it's like, oh, you guys had a shooting in your school? Uh, we can't really do nothing about that. We don't know how to fix that. I mean, oh, a formula shortage you guys are having? Uh, that either. You're probably gonna have to wait until it gets better.